Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and as you guys can see, I have something pretty awesome to show you guys in today's episode. I can't wait to get into this because as promised guys, there's a huge mystery in GTA 5 with all four of these murals which were inside the Mount Chiliad tunnel and we're slowly getting through each and every one of them. And today guys, what we're going to be taking a look at is the purple mural because there is actually a clue inside Maze Bank which we have all missed in GTA 5 and I can't wait to show you guys exactly what this is about. So before we get into this, I just want to ask you guys to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. And as promised guys, I told you I would update you with this mystery and let you know any other information which has been released. And uh, today guys, I mean, there's just been, there's been so much information. I can't wait to get into this. So let's go over to Maze Bank and let's start beginning this video. Now, before we get into this, I would like to say a huge thank you to Hunter. He is responsible for so some of the stuff I'm going to show you guys in today's episode and just after investigating Maze Bank you can also find a few other clues which come from the purple mural in GTA 5. They're pretty much in the open in the obvious and it's just such a big clue which takes us over to Maze Bank and I'm amazed that all of us have missed this in GTA. So let's just get straight into this. I'm gonna go over there guys you can see Maze Bank in the distance and as well as this guys there's just there's some more information which links up Maze Bank to another bank in GTA five and I can't wait to show you guys what this is. I believe it's the Pacific Standard Bank. It's on Vinewood. So we're going to go over there as well and this once again is another clue every single one of us have missed. But there's two things I want to show you guys on Maze Bank. One of them is kind of like a, did you know this? It's pretty cool. And the other one could actually be connected over to the Purple Mural in GTA 5 and it's a pretty big clue. None of the less guys. Now if you guys don't know what the Purple Mural is about then don't worry guys. We are slowly going through this. But to let you guys know exactly what we found about this mural so far, which can be found in the Mount Chiliad tunnels, we know that there is some sort of maze or labyrinth or something which hides a Minotaur inside. And Rockstar Games have teased this to us in the past just through leaks and random forum posts and stuff that we have to use a clue to go through this labyrinth, etc. And you can see this on the purple mural. And because Maze Bank gives us all of these notifications from Minotaur Finance, and because in Lester's house we found magazines which says Maze is Banks, like, if you want to go and check out that video, I will We'll link it at the end of this one but it basically connects the purple mural to maze bank in gta and something which was recently just discovered by hunter is if you actually take a look above maze bank you can see this thing which did get his attention and it kind of looks like part of that labyrinth as if we're meant to do something to this you can see these benches have been placed in such a unique formation as if rockstar games are trying to tell us something about this one location as if we're meant to do something here or as if something is meant to activate in this one location because we know there is some sort of labyrinth in maze bank we know there's some sort of maze or something we have to go through and considering this one circle has all of these benches just in random formations random shapes uh, just random lengths etc it just it doesn't make too much sense to me so if we just take a closer look to this you can't see anything too much or too significant inside the water fountain but it just looks a little bit suspicious and something else which someone did mention as well. I'm not too sure if you guys remember, but I did a video talking about that random person called Spider who seems to be making all of these webs. Well, something else which someone else noticed is if you actually take a look up here at Maze Bank, you can see what literally looks like a spider made out of these sort of staircases. So it's as if Rockstar Games have kind of put this in to make us think, oh wow, there's a spider there. So I'm not too sure why they've done that, but it's just, it's a pretty interesting thought. Uh, but something which did get my eye and something which I think needs to be looked at is this thing because these benches are in such a random formation and it's as if Rockstar Games want us to take a second look at it because they've specifically done this like this and on the purple mural you can see there is some sort of labyrinth or something we have to go through and although this isn't really a labyrinth it's still starting off as if it's a maze or something and it just it doesn't make too much sense to me and Hunter did point this out as well and it's just a really interesting clue which no one has really picked up on so I thought I may as well show you guys exactly what we have so far about Maze Bank, but let's go over to the Pacific Standard Bank and we're going to get on to the second part of this video. And of course, guys, if you didn't know already, you can see there's some sort of cracked egg or something on Maze Bank. I'm not too sure if you guys knew this. It's pretty old anyway, but I thought I may as well let you guys know considering it's right here. But if we 
take a look around Maze Bank, I can't really see anything else which could resemble a labyrinth or anything. So, I mean, just taking a look at that, it's just a pretty interesting thought to think that Rockstar Games deliberately put the benches there, so maybe we have to do something with that, or maybe something happens in that one area. Anyway, guys, let's go over to the Pacific Standard Bank. I think I might just, yeah, we're gonna use this, guys. We'll just, we'll do this and go over there. I think it's just up here, but oh my days, guys, I think it connects the purple mural to all of the banks or something. I think we have to go through each bank, and the reason why I know this is because if you guys actually go over to the Pacific Standard Bank, guys, and take a look at this thing, you can see the exact same scales which come from the purple mural, and just to show you guys how much detail this is, if we actually take a look at the FIB building and take a look at the scales on there, they're actually different. So Rockstar Games made sure that the scales on the purple mural were the exact same ones as the one on the Pacific Standard Bank. And for as far as I know, I think the scales are only in this location. I mean, I haven't gone around checking the entire map and stuff, but they're only in this one location. And I did actually see this from a guy called Trippy. I will leave a link to him in the description below. But it's just pretty interesting to see that the purple mural, yes, it connects up to May's Bank. If you guys want to see that entire video, I will link it in the description below, proving it does. But it also connects up to the Pacific Bank because you can see the same scales. And there's also this thing, I'm not too sure what this means, PS and the scales in between. And of course, you can see this line or something with two stars and 1903 with A and B written on this. So I'm not too sure. Oh, I think it's Pacific Standard. Yeah, that would make sense. Pacific Standard. So let's take a look inside, guys, because you can actually go inside this bank. And once again, you can see the scales again, Pacific Standard, and there's those scales. So it's as if Rockstar wanted to go over to the Pacific Standard Bank in order to continue this purple mural. And I have no idea what happens at the end of this mystery, but it seems to be connecting all of these banks together. And if we take a look inside here, you can see, I believe there's something else in here. Let's see. I think there is. I think there's something else, like another plaque or something inside the bank. Maybe there's like a secret room or something we're not looking at because uh, this shows us blueprints of the entire bank. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can see like blueprints of the entire bank. So there could actually be a secret room in here if you guys want to uh, study that and, and kind of compare them to everything you see in this bank. We could actually find a secret room. Anyway, I think there's a plaque just upstairs or something. Let's go upstairs and see if we can find anything. There's all of these photos as well. Like Rockstar Games have really put detail into this. So there might be some clues in the photos. But this purple mural definitely wants us to go over. Oh, there's the plaque. Okay, it was literally just above the door. How did I miss that? But once again, guys, on the plaque, you can see some sort of Illuminati eye literally right there. And you can see the scales right there as well. Uh, and if we take a look up here, you can see what looks like a sun and a star. And you can see a, a pirate boat or something. I'm not too sure. And uh, what well, looks like some sort of explorers or something. I think that says more, which means love. And I'm not too sure what this means. And once again, the exact same scales. Uh, which come from the purple mural. So it's just, it's pretty interesting to see that this purple mural takes us over to the Pacific Bank and the Maze Bank. So in my opinion, I would say if you want to solve this mural, just take a look at every single bank in GTA 5 and look for connections with the purple mural. And I'm not too sure exactly what happens at the end of this. I'm not too sure what Rockstar Games are trying to tell us. But if you take a look at all of these photos, you can see there's so much detail in each one of these. I think they're paintings. Maybe there's something inside these paintings. Maybe we have to try and find something. I'm not too sure. But either way, guys, I mean, it's just, it's pretty awesome. Can we go through this? No, we can't. Let's use no clip. Let's take a look through this. Dave, go away. I don't want to speak to you. But there's just so many interesting things here. And I think everyone needs to check these out. Let's go through here and take a look. A few more paintings. What's that? I'm not too sure. Like, we definitely have some interesting clues down here, but... I'm really not too sure exactly what we're looking for now. What happened there? There's like some sort of dent in the wall or something. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there, but let's leave this place, guys. And is there anything through here? Nope, nothing through there. Just taking a look around here as well. Can we see anything interesting? I love how these guys just don't care that I'm around the back. Okay. <laughs> How's it going, guys? <laughs> Once again, I can't really see anything too significant. We can go inside all of these offices as well, just in case you guys want to see anything inside here. Anything in this room? Oh gosh, that actually scared me. There's like a statue or something looking at me. That kind of scared me. You can see all of these people here. You know, just some just some old paintings, I guess. You know, nothing too significant. But other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. There's a few other bits on the purple mural, which we are slowly linking things up with. So I will update you guys if I do find any more information with that. But from what we know so far, the purple mural definitely links up with the Maze Bank. And it also links up with the Pacific Standard Bank on Vinewood as 
as well. So either way, guys, it's definitely a step forward. And I guess this means that we have to investigate every single bank in GTA 5 because by the looks of things, it's asking us to go inside the Maze Bank, the Pacific Standard Bank, and of course, there's the Fleeker Bank, there's other banks in GTA 5. And for those of you guys who watched my video a few weeks ago where I showed you the Minotaur underneath Maze Bank and I showcased all of the things within the game files which haven't yet been used in the game, you will know that there's loads and loads of places with significance which relate to the banks in GTA 5. For example, you have the Bank of Liberty, you have the Fleeker Bank, you have uh, all of these banks listed in the game files, so it does actually make perfect sense that all of the banks are linked together. So there's probably going to be some other clues in those banks as well. So I'm going to keep investigating this. If I do find any more information about this, I will of course let you guys know. But it looks like the purple mural could be to do with all these banks or something. Maybe we have to connect things up and then of course we can find that labyrinth and find that minotaur and see exactly what is going on. So either way guys, I hope you did enjoy today's episode. As always guys, if you did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. That would of course be absolutely amazing. And I recommend you guys also subscribe to the channel as well so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis and let me know in the comments section below anything else you would like to see me do on my channel and you never know guys your idea might make it into another video but guys thank you so much for watching my name is Nort and until next time stay absolutely awesome I'll see you guys in the next video